Hello and hi there. I am Chrissy. You find my YouTube channel, Chrissy Love, where I talk about fragrance. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. I post here twice a week with my videos. I also post to TikTok and Instagram with my scent of the day videos. So links to those are in the description box below if you want to check them out. Today I am talking about my wish list perfumes. These are perfumes that I have sampled, tested, I have little like mini spray bottles and travel spray bottles of, and I just really want to get my hands on full size bottles. It's not that I can't find them online necessarily, but I really, I could buy so many perfumes and spend all my money and I can't do that reasonably. And I also like to get good prices. So I kind of like keep an eye out for them. A couple of these are really harder to find truly. Like they're like, on eBay, you have to like bid on them, like that kind of thing. So let's jump right in. I'm not gonna talk about full notes and all that, but if you want, please look at Fragrantica for those notes. These are my, my future babies, I'm hoping. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to start with Mazzolari Vaniglia, which this is a sample size, of course. And this came from Amy, a subscriber. Thank you again, Amy, for sending me this. And I had no idea what this was before I smelled it, but this smells like freshly made vanilla flavored caramels on my skin. It's like a melt in your mouth sweetness. It's buttery, it's creamy, it's decadent. It is just the most beautiful gourmand. I absolutely adore it and it has excellent longevity and projection too. And this is for a 100 ml bottle, about $200. So that's why I'm like, I really want it, but I don't know if I'm ready yet to bite the bullet on it. Cause there's just so many expensive perfumes, of course, I would love to have. So yeah, this is one I'm definitely on the hunt for, for a good price. That is Mazzolari Vaniglia. Next is one that is actually readily available. I can just buy it on the website and it is by Be Layered and it is called Cinnabomb. And no one really talks about this. It's really, it's a single note perfume. It's designed to be that way. It smells like cinnamon and it's a great layering scent. Um, I posted a video recently about layering this with Angel Share and it just gives it more spice. That's one example of how I use this. Um, it's really excellent performance. It's just beast mode. And I just adore cinnamon. And I wish more perfumes actually featured cinnamon. A lot of them have, a, like, I know a few, I can think of like three or four that have cinnamon in them, so to speak, but you don't really get the punch of it. So this can just add some punch. So this is one that I don't know what I'm really waiting for. I should probably just go on the website. It's like $34. <laughs> I should probably just go buy it. The uh, single note perfumes on Be Layered are less expensive than the blends. So yeah. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Just the perfect, like, kind of baking cinnamon. I adore it. The next one I have here is kind of a sad story. It is Jo Malone's Elderflower Cordial. And I took a decant of this when I tested all of the Marmalade collection. I, I'll link to that video in the description if you want to see that. I, I did a in-depth, both first sniff and wear tested a combined video of the Jo Malone collection, uh, a marmalade collection. And Elderflower Cordial is the only one I really could see myself buying a full-size bottle of. Well, I found a great price for it on Mercari. I ordered it. It came while I was gone for a couple of days over Christmas time and someone stole the package. And it happens. It's partially my fault for leaving it out for a couple of days. Ah, but it's still so heartbreaking because um, if they had stolen like printer cartridge refills or something like that. I don't think I would have cared so much, but I really, really wanted this perfume in my collection. And now it's kind of like a sore spot for me, but I still adore it. So yeah, this is like a dried sweet figs kind of scent. It's vanilla, it's mellow, it's succulent. It's just such a calming, beautiful, just it's, it's slightly gourmand in that it does smell like food but it's just a mellow, beautiful scent. And I really, really love it. It's definitely my favorite from the Marmalade collection. So that is Jo Malone Elderflower Cordial and probably the only Jo Malone I actually really want to own right now. I've tested at least a dozen of them and this is the only one I'm like, ooh, this one gets me. <laughs> They're oftentimes very realistic and very fresh and I just don't really dig that. So anyway, next is one that I'm sure a lot of people watching this already have in their collection and that is Lancome's Oud Bouquet. And I have, I still have a decent amount left. I'm not hurting on this one, but this one to me on my skin, this smells like sponge cake, woods, 
and vanilla. It's very ambery, it's sweet, it's satisfying. It's like the most decadent gourmandish oud I've ever smelled. It has amazing performance. It's just like a cozy, beautiful, it's just the quality, the blend, everything about it is just excellent. So yeah, this is one that I am not nearly the first to talk about. So I know that a lot of you probably already smelled this perfume and know what I'm talking about. It is like a must have in my collection. So it's just a matter of time till I'm coming to get you. And that is Lancome's Oud Bouquet. Next I have Commodity Milk. And I did a review a while ago of a few different commodity perfumes. Milk did not make it into that, but I came across this one after the fact. And this one, and people probably had different opinions on this, but to me, this just smells like a very realistic, sweet and fluffy marshmallow scent. It's pretty much on my skin turns into a marshmallow scent. It doesn't really have other complexity to it. Whoa. All the snow just fell off the roof next door. I don't know if anyone heard that in the video, but um, it has tonka, it has vanilla. It, it's just a gorgeous scent, but when it dries down, it smells like marshmallow on me, which I really adore. And it has great longevity. It really lasts all day on me. And the projection is decent. It's not like beast mode, but it has decent projection. Um, so this is one that's really great for layering or when I just want to smell really yummy on its own, it also really fits the bill. So this is one, I, I've tried it in the expressive version. I know that there's like, three different levels that have different characteristics too. Um, so yeah, that's just what Commodity does. They now release each of their perfumes in three different strengths, but each of those strengths also has kind of its own little nuance to it. So I'm probably gonna get the set of the three different strengths of milk and see which one I like best and then get one from there. Um, but yeah, I really, really love milk. And I am unfortunately anosmic to commodity gold, which I know everyone loves commodity gold. I can't really smell it on me after like two seconds. It's like gone on me. I know it's, it's my nose. I know it's me. Um, but milk, I do not have that issue with. So I really think milk is my favorite commodity perfume. Next is one I talked about as well in a niche haul, and that is Floris Honey Oud. This is such a find. Oh my God, I can't wait to get this in my collection. So Floris is an old London house that was founded in 1786. So it's been around for quite a while. This is a newer perfume though. It came out in the last 10 years or less. Um, so this starts off really dusty. It reminds me of like a sandalwood, but in the dry down, I get more of a fresh honey and rose scent. So it has this great blend of sweet and bitter, and it's just absolutely lovely. Like the quality of the ingredients, the blend is spot on. It's just a gorgeous honey rose oud scent. Excellent longevity, pretty good projection, pretty decent, not beast. Um, yeah, so this is one I wanna get, but I also wanna look more into the house of Floris. So yes, the journey continues, right? It never ends. All right, next is one I reviewed as part of a Dua haul, like gosh, three or four months ago, if not longer, a long time ago I did this. And that is Dua's Palm Fire. This is the only one that I would like to have from Dua in a full size bottle so far. I had the Cotton Candy to Dua for a little while, kind of liked it, but then I was like, ah, Pink Sugar is already doing it for me, I don't really need this. Um, but Palm Fire is really unique. So this is inspired by a hybrid of Killian Paris Apple Brandy and Maison Martin Margiela by The Fireplace. And it really is, in my opinion, the best of both. So it has like this juicy red apple to it with a hint of smokiness, but not too much. So By The Fireplace has way too much smokiness for me. It's like actually sitting next to a fire, which is lovely when I'm doing it, but I don't really want to smell like I'm on fire. So this, the apple really tempers it. It's not nearly as smoky. Um, this is just like the experience of sipping on a spiced brandied cider or something like that, sitting by the fireplace. So this is a beautiful fall into winter perfume. Amazing performance. And I'm running low, low, low on my bottle. So I really need to go ahead and just buy this already. So yeah, that is Dua's Palm Fire. Next, second to last, is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. And I picked this up for a review recently as well. 
um, that is also in the niche haul. And this smells like a dessert. It smells like cooked caramel and pear. It's heady, it's interesting, it's really vanilla. It has like a vanilla bean kind of vanilla in it. So it's very sweet and decadent. And everything I love about this, it, 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 it takes what I kind of liked about Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle, which is a pear forward scent, and it just makes it more me. So this is like the gourmand version, in my opinion, of Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle. Um, it has really great longevity. It has reasonable protection, but really excellent longevity. So this is like a, just a beautiful gourmand pear dessert, and I really, really love it. I can't wait to get a full-size bottle of that. And last, but definitely not least, I have Hildi Soliani, and this is Donna Sentenza, and it's like leaking, so I'm just going to hold it like this. So this also Amy sent me as well um, in that little package she sent me. This smells exactly like puffed banana marshmallow candies and it is so delicious. It has amazing longevity, amazing projection. It is definitely like a sugar candy scent. It is not very nuanced, it's very in your face. Now this retails for around $160 for a bottle so that's why I'm like also holding back on it because it is something that is more gimmicky than it is sophisticated. So I'm like, oh, how much will I actually reach for this? That's the question for me. But I really, really adore the scent. And there's something about banana in perfumes that really does it for me. So those are the perfumes I have my eye on to purchase. I'm sure I'll come up with many more tomorrow. But let me know which are on your wish list, not necessarily of mine, but what perfumes are on your like top five wish list? Let me know. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you have a very beautiful day.